In this video, I will show you how to detect a floating or loose neutral in both 240 volt circuits as well as 120 volt circuits using a simple voltage pin. The first case is based on a residential electric dryer that wouldn't start. And the second case is of a 120 volt electric outlet that was unable to power anything plugged into it. In both cases, the outlets measured fine using a traditional multimeter. But when placed under any kind of a load, their voltages drop to unusable levels. First things first, this video is intended for professionals that have a need to test voltage supplies. I do recommend that you hire a professional for this type of a thing. Always wear rubber gloves when performing such tests and wear safety glasses. So we have a compromised voltage source here. The dryer is not starting and I've already determined that this, there's a problem with this voltage source, this receptacle. I want to show you how you can use a voltage pen to detect a floating neutral. So this is your one leg. This is your another leg over here. You can see it flashes here. Now neutral should be at ground potential and you should not get any voltage signaling at neutral. Neutral is on the bottom over here and it should not signal on neutral. If it's signaling on neutral, that means that the internal resistance or internal impedance of the dryer is pulling neutral up to the potential of one of these legs here. Okay, that is neutral. Neutral should not do that. Neutral should, shouldn't signal at all. It should be a ground potential. So this is one way that you can tell if you have a floating neutral. It's not always definitive because sometimes a floating neutral doesn't pull up that high, but in the vast majority of cases, a floating neutral is going to pull up almost up to the potential of L1 or L2. So that neutral is signaling, so that tells us we have a floating neutral. For this particular case, we have an outlet that tests fine with a voltage tester. Tests good. And if I Use this voltmeter, tells us we have 121 volts, which you would think would indicate a good outlet. But this, this voltmeter here has a very high input impedance, doesn't put any kind of a load to speak of on it, on the outlet. So if I plug the light in, you know, the voltage drops down to around 3 volts. So obviously this out there's a problem here with this voltage source. It is not it is compromised, even though a couple of different measurements tells us the outlet is good. But it's not actually a good outlet. So how can you tell if you only have a voltage pen? A voltage pen is a very handy way. If you know how to use it and you know how to interpret it, it can give you a lot of information, a lot more than most people think. So normally a voltage pen is going to give us on a good outlet, it's going to give us a reading on the hot, like this, which it should. And no reading on the neutral, because neutral should be zero volts, right? What happens is, when neutral floats, and you put a load in here, and you only have a couple of volts difference between the two, by definition, neutral is going to be up close to 120 volts. So, if you only have a couple of volts across here, that means that hot is around 120 uh, with respect to ground. That means neutral is, is around 118 with respect to ground. So neutral is being pulled up because there's a loose upstream connection. So if that's the case, this should signal on the neutral side when I put the load in. If that's the case, that tells us we have a floating neutral. So the voltage pin is indicating that neutral is getting pulled up to 120 volts when we plug this in. So that's a really good way a voltage pin can tell you if you have a, a loose upstream neutral with respect to this outlet that is causing this outlet to fail under load. That's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.